grand final day. G-Town. Outside. Oh, G-Town, mate. Mickey Picker. Oh, I haven't seen it for a long time. I've seen it, obviously, um, a fair bit for a while, but then haven't seen it for, for a while. Um, obviously, the golden point in the under-20s grand final. Uh, myself and Mickey Picker had a little chip and chase play. We called G-Town. Mickey actually got it tattooed on his hip after, which I was meant to do and I never done. So hopefully this is, hopefully 300 games after that's made up for it for Mickey. But um, yeah, obviously a very special moment. A lot of, a lot of players in that group and the Broncos group went on to, to do great things. And um, a lot of the boys still uh, really good mates with now. Um, obviously Mickey and Charlie Thompson and, and Nicky Skinner. And, um, you know, we've seen guys like Dugues and, and Daniel Vito and them come through that game just, just from our team alone, Justin Carney. So, um, yeah, pretty special and, and to win the first one as well. Uh, obviously quite a special moment and there's a few calls for me being offside. I think that, I think I was just onside. There we go. The Canberra Stadium on a beautiful autumn afternoon in the nation's capital and quite a healthy crowd to see the Canberra Raiders take on the uh, Sydney Roosters. There's a bit of debut. Be, yeah. Some changes there as well. Phil this is scary. I've never actually watched this through or, or gone back and watched it. So I don't remember much of this. So this will be, I know we've got flogged. Let's see it's actually surreal because like I said I've never I've seen most of everything but I've never actually watched this game Gibbon there makes the tackle, but at home as well. Buttress down the short side. Here's Croker. Can he stay in? He does. At the top comes Miles. There is Mal Meninga looking on. Herbert. Yeah, that, that's how I was marking against Sia. Now here's Croker. Out to Pertil. Oh, he's got Pertz running over the sideline. <laughs> Pierce has come up with it, but Sia. Scoring. Well, there's plenty of time. The problem with, with the Raiders, and as I've been saying, we're back to the play. And can they score here, Canberra? Broke out Jared Broker plays it 10 out from the line on debut. For Canberra either. Can Beasy long ball here to Croker over the halfway line. Out of one tackle. Last here. And seconds to go. They've never been held to zero in Canberra. The Canberra Raiders. And that record is going to be maintained because Harrison scores with six. Especially being a Roosters fan my whole life. Yeah, been a Roosters. Yeah, a tragic my whole life, and then obviously started playing the Raiders, Raiders junior stuff, and then uh, Mark playing up against them, marking up against Uncle Sia, who I've, you know, Sia has been unreal for me, not only as a mate, but helping me out with leadership and um, you know, being the captain at such a young age. I had an interview the other day about Sia, and they asked who <coughs> who would help me the most during my. Uh, my time, you know, as a young captain, um, and Sia was definitely one of them, Sia and Hodjo. So I always thought that I marked against Sia, and I'd, like I said, never watched my debut, so it's surreal to see that. Um, and yeah, I did, did mark up against him, and it looks like he got the better of me too, the big fella. I remember, um, I think it was the Monday or Tuesday, I think Jace Matthew at the time got me in, and, and Dave Ferner was the coach, and said, oh, you're, you might be that making your debut this week, and he said, I'll ring you this afternoon, and I was, uh, when I was young, I always used to go back to Goulburn on a day off and that. I just used to sort of not like being away from home much. So I was back in Goulburn and playing golf with a couple of the mates and went going out to mum and dad's for a baked dinner and just sitting around waiting and waiting for the call because I was itching to tell mum and dad. Um, and eventually Fernsey rang me and told me that I was playing. So I remember that moment pretty well. Um, but from then on, it was you know, a little bit of a blur. And, and back in those days, I just I wore, obviously wore number 20. So back in those days, we sort of, you, you didn't know who was playing until they ran on the field. You could throw anyone at any number on, so no one sort of knew for a couple of days. And uh, yeah, obviously that was pretty much it. Memory was a um, bit of a blur, but obviously got a bit of a touch up as well. But yeah, very uh, very special moment. It's good to see those highlights as well. Yeah, it's fun. I remember this one pretty well. This is my first try. Parramatta Stadium. I think it was only a bit. Must have been a week or two later.
pretty happy with himself. Joey Picker. Okay, I do remember that pretty well. I actually we, we got beat nothing this game as well. I think it was only by a couple of points, it was a pretty tight game, but and just slide over for me first try mate. Yeah, obviously pretty special and been lucky enough to play with a lot of good players who put me over the line. Camp obviously there and as the years have gone on, so um, yeah, that's obviously one the one I have seen quite a bit the first try, but still very special, mate.